have a card for you today and usually when I'm working on projects I will start by uh, giving myself a sketch and I keep a stack of three by five cards on my desk and I will grab a card, draw a sketch for what I want to work on and that way I have a starting point for, for my project. Now this project was also inspired by the crafting game called Calvin Ball and you can see me here pulling out some papers and Calvin Ball is this fun game that's for scrappers and crafters and card makers and it has rules that change on a regular basis and you can see here I'm looking over the rules and trying to decide which little techniques I want to use to add to my card. Everything you do is worth points and it's just a silly game to give you ideas. I'll put links below if you want to check out this game and you can see what this um, silliness is all about. Now over there on the left was a stack of pattern papers that I thought I would use because they were florals and that was one of the points in this game, but I ended up not using them. Um, I was going to start my card with a circle focal image and then move on from there. So I'm choosing stamps based on that circle focal image. So I chose this cake image to be my focal point, which makes sense for a birthday card. And I was going to use that circle stamp there also to actually enclose the cake into more of that focal image. And then these punches over here, um, more circles, I was going to use them to layer up to add dimension to my card. And in my sketch there were some stripes behind that central image, and I thought stripes would be great for um, washi tape and washi tape is points in this game as are the polka dots and, and other images I used. Um, the wood veneer here is also point so I pulled out my trays to see what I might want to use of that. And then I pulled out my binder that has enamel dots in it because enamel dots were a point and I thought I'd throw some of those on there, kind of sprinkle them around like confetti. Now, I didn't end up using those enamel dots for this project, but that's okay. The point of this game is to give you some ideas, and if you pull out materials, you can start playing and putting things together and seeing what will work and what won't until you have something that you're satisfied with. And this did not work. I was going to put this image inside the circle, and it just was not the right size. So I went back to my supplies, and I started looking for something else that might work, so maybe a gift package image or as you'll see here there's a, a single gift package image there and I looked at some other options but I decided I liked that gift package so I was going to go with that and I ended up watercoloring it which was another point. Here I'm looking for something extra to add up to the corner of that card and I decide on the banner. So this game gives you ways to put some supplies together to create an end product that's both fun and worth points. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. I'll see you in the next video.